this message is doing. So, what brings you in today? You have some shoulder pain and also down the arms. Okay. Yeah, we totally ruined something about that. Yeah. Okay. So, today I'm gonna take a lot of the muscles in the neck area and also the throat. We have some muscles there that can contribute to some uh, shoulder pain or some nerve pain down there and also down to the arm where you can feel some tingling down the, down the fingers. You got a nerve that runs through to neck muscles or throat muscles that is um, called the brachial plexus. And if I can get that a little bit loosened up around that nerve, then uh, we can do a lot with the shoulder, shoulder pain. So um, I think I'll just get started. And I will say also take a lot of the body, the upper back, the lower back area, and maybe a little bit down to down to the legs, but. Let's see how far we far we get. We do only have like 20 minutes, so before my next client, but I think we can do a lot in this time. And this is just the first time you probably have to come back a couple of times, but yeah, let's see how far we get. Hmm? Just starting by doing some strokes on the neck area. Also, like feel the muscles, how tight they are. If you've got any muscle knots, just up on the cranium. So, when I push in here, does it hurt? You could hit it. Okay, what if I push in here, you feel the cheeks, hmm? and what if I push in here, you get a headache, just a different variation, okay, and I will just do the same thing on the other side, how does it feel here, is it the same? On as as the side I did before, a little bit different. And how about you? It doesn't go in six. Okay. And what about here? You don't get a headache here. Okay. So I think it's your right side that's gonna trigger something down to the shoulders but I will just loosen up and when I pressure on some of the throat muscles then you will also feel some tingling down there down the fingers perhaps and also down the shoulders so let's see so I'm just going to do some strokes And I can feel you are quite tight in the back area. Also a little bit in the neck area, but it wasn't as uh, as tight as I thought it would be. And I'm just coming up the back right here.
Is the press show okay? Okay, good. Or else you're just gonna say something to me, and then I'm gonna lighten the pressure just like 10%, and then maybe you can chill <laughs> and just relax in this massage. Because if I do a little bit too much pressure and and you are actually not uh, relaxing and your muscles are getting tighter and tighter against my hand, then uh, we're actually just not doing anything good for you. So. If it's a little bit too hard, then just uh, say the word, right? And I'll just take your arm right here, and I'll take it a little bit out to the side, and just the shoulder blades, the shoulder blades. Yeah, a lot of people have uh, some tightness behind it. Shoulder blades in the rhomboids. Yeah, the rhomboids area that is just uh, those muscles. They attach like this uh, over this way behind the shoulder blades. And a lot of people say they have a weird sensation down the shoulder, the shoulder blades. Um, a lot of the times it's not actually from the shoulder blades, but it can be from the upper back area, it can be from the neck area, it can be from the Muscles on the ribs. I actually see quite a lot. It can be the muscles from the ribs area, the rib cage. Hmm? Okay, and you can take your arm in again now. I'll just feel your arms. See how tight they are. Hmm? And I have a very firm grip on them, so. We can just get a little bit loose some muscles right here. Yeah, right in the tricep area, I can feel you are very, very tight. I just feel on the bicep. Yeah. Yeah, that is also quite tight. strokes on the tricep. It's just, uh, I do think it's the neck and the throat area that causes pain down the, down the arms, but I can also feel they're quite tight, so it won't hurt doing this, and I can be wrong, maybe it's a uh, something just down the arms uh, at the shoulder, but um, I do see quite a lot that it's a brachial plexus nerve and that's the nerve that runs right down oh, not that, right down here goes down there, down the shoulder and down to the arm think it's the right side that's the main part as I told you in the beginning and uh, I just have a little bit more focus over there this is quite a large um, massage table I have so I'll just stand on this side this time and I'm going over and going over And here in the beginning, I'm just doing some strokes we call a farage. Yeah, it's some French uh, word, but um, it's just some regular strokes that actually feel nice. 
just up the back so I can get uh, apply some oil first of all. I'm not using very much oil normally, um, so I can glide better. And uh, I'm also doing it just because we're gonna get the nervous system to to relax before I give you some deep pressure. So I'm just giving deeper and deeper pressure, so I can get down to all the muscles that are tight. Hmm. And uh, a lot of people actually ask if uh, it's very hard for the hands throughout a whole day, but um, when you've done it for so long, then uh, you just adapt to it and you, it won't hurt anymore. So normally when people massage, it's like, it's like five minutes top and then they're uh, from skip up. But, uh, I think a massage therapist like me can do it for like 10 hours. Um, not 10 hours on one person, then uh, we would be demolished. But um, yeah, we can do it for 10 hours, like have 8 clients in and just have some minutes between each client, then uh, it goes just fine. Hmm? It's just something I thought you might find quite interesting because everybody asks if it hard for the hands and the form, but uh, it's not that bad. And I'm just doing some strokes on the other side of the muscle. Just take your arm a little bit out and I will reach all the way over. And you can do with a very, very firm grip on your arms. And this one is just as tight as the other one. And some compression. Compression. And I will just feel the bicep. And that's also just as tight as the other one. Normally people have one side that's uh, tighter than the other, but with you it's pretty symmetrical. So that can be a very good thing. And I'm just giving some extra pressure. Yeah, we need to get them loosened up because when you're naked, your throat area is gonna get more loose than uh, the arms will have much more benefit from it if they also loosen up when you get that tingling sensation down the fingers and some strokes to the side and some strokes to the side 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 up to the neck area. I will just do some gentle strokes. I'm just taking the palm of the hand and I will change the, the way I put my palm just to be a little bit specific on the muscles. I'm on some muscles right now that's called 
the Louisa Scavia, or you have a muscle on the east side. It's also down on the shoulder blade, and it attaches up to the up to the head, so it can cause headaches. And I'm just doing some strokes up here now, a little bit harder, but you can if you feel anything that's not there and that doesn't feel good, then I just say the word. And sideways on these muscles. Yeah, that's just giving them a new stimulus they are not used to. Because I, I think I have explained it before, but um, you can shorten the muscle and you can lengthen the muscle. When you shorten the muscle, then uh, yeah, then uh, the contraction is, is very big and when you lengthen it, then you can just feel it on the other side in the neck area, because the neck area we are symmetrical, but you know, when you flex one bicep, then the other uh, is not doing anything, but when you turn your head to the right or to the left, then the opposite side of the neck is also active. So if one is more active than the other, then you can cause, then it can cause a lot of stress up in the cranium. So I just want this to be a little bit more loose. So on this side, doing some gentle strokes first. And some harder strokes. Into the side, into the side. Okay. And now I'm just gonna take the throat muscles, something that's called the sternocleidomastoid deus. That's a very long name for a muscle, but it attaches right down in the middle. Go up, attaches behind the. Oh, it. Um, it goes out from the middle and attaches up to the behind the ear, and uh, it can cause a lot of stress if it, you don't use it that much. So I'm gonna give you some exercises after this you can do to actually use that muscle a lot more. And we're also gonna activate a lot of other muscles like the scalenes. They also do some rotation in the head and up and down. So I'm going under to the front and going all the way around. Under to the throat and all the way out. Under to the throat and I'm just giving some pressure at the throat. Yeah, you can feel like a tickle uh, in the throat area because uh, not something that we're used to. At least I'm not used to. So, giving some pressure on the sternocleidomastoideums. Okay, that was actually it for the 
take him down the shoulder. I could also take the shoulder. Um, I actually think I'm just gonna take the shoulder a little bit. I don't think it's that necessary, but sometimes it, it can be quite nice. So I'm taking your arm out here and giving his shoulder a little bit too. The other side, taking the arm a little bit out and giving the shoulder some good strokes. And here in the neck, I'm just going to get some feel-good sensations. Does it feel okay? And I actually just had this ball and I do find it quite nice just to use on the back I just do some gentle strokes because of these packs it has it can feel quite nice and give a lot more circulation um, or at least they tell me those who sold me it but um, I find people have a better experience afterwards when I've done all these Harder strokes, then just uh, some relaxation and some more circulation to the area. So I will just use this all over the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels very, very good because I'm not doing a lot of pressure, just uh, just enough for it to go down a little bit in the skin and give some very nice circulation to the muscle and the other skin. Also out the arm, it can be quite nice too. And there, arm, mm -hmm. and down to the lower back. I just had some deep strokes also in the lower back area, so they can be quite nice too. Okay, so um, that was actually everything I had for you today. I do have some exercise for you, but I think I will send them to you. And uh, the next time you come in, then we can go through them together. I just think you have, uh, yeah, you can be a little bit groggy after all of this. So you probably wouldn't remember the exercises. And I wouldn't have you do them right now because you can be quite, yeah, groggy and you need some water to get hydrated 
So I think I will send them to you, and okay, then you can go over them yourself, try them out, see how you how they feel, and uh, see if there's any difference. This should work after like one week. If they don't re- work a little bit just after one week, then uh, I'm just gonna give you some new exercises and. Uh, if it's too much, I give you at a time. I do only give like two or three exercises at a time. But if it's too much for you, then just uh, say to me because then we can just give you one or two exercises, or make you do them less, some less, uh, some, some not so many repetitions and not so many sets. But uh, yeah, that was everything I had for you today. Uh, I just hope you had a very nice experience in here. And that you got anything out of that I said. Hmm? So you can just stand up and take your clothes on and yeah. Be on your way. So yeah. Bye bye.